Alright, so let's start with. Alright, so let's install DaVinci Resolve 19. Just click on this, fill in the information, and you'll get the installer. Okay. Now use this website to do your step-to-step -step guide. So go into this link, press the button, then download this. All right, you'll see two of this zip folder. Go into the downloads and zip these two folders right here. Then copy this file into the DaVinci folder. Okay, so now it's inside the DaVinci folder. So let's continue the guide. Install the prerequisite packages. Don't use this link because this code, don't use this code because this code is not working. So we'll go into this website again and then right here there is two code right here. Copy one by one inside the terminal. So first you just copy this and then you put into the terminal. Press Y. So every time just press Y because you want to install it. Once you're done, go into the second one and then put it back into the terminal. Press Y again because you want to install and wait for it to finish. Okay. So once you're done, go into the step again. As you can see, this code, if you try to put it in, it doesn't work. So just use the other link. So here how to install NVIDIA driver update. I'll keep put into the link of my other video to update it correctly. So right here you see, you need to extract the downloaded. You've done it before, just now. So now we need to create .deb installer because right now it is not an installer. So go into your DaVinci folder, right click on it and open the terminal. It will open that directory for you. So it'll be more easier. Copy the code and paste it inside the terminal. This will take very long, either a few minutes few hours depending on your computer, your SSD, your hard drive. So once it's done, just wait for it until it's done. So once it's done, go back into this and copy the code, the last code. It is to install the DaVinci app. So put at the same terminal in the same directory and let it run, let it finish install. This may take a while. Also same, it may take few minutes or one hour depending on your computer. So once it's done, go into DaVinci in your computer. The app should be there. And now you should have DaVinci installed. So now you can try to put it in. But if you see here, you can't edit. Why? Because MP4 for some reason doesn't work on Linux DaVinci. So you need to copy your videos, all your videos, and go into videos. Now you don't have to do it like this but I want to do it like this because much easier so just create a folder put in whatever name and paste it inside create a text file and in this text file I press wrong 
Okay, so go back inside here, go into this text file and paste this code in this text file. Okay, then you press save and rename this to what I'm putting in here so that it's much easier to use. Then remember, once you're done, dot sh, make sure you change it. Then go properties, go to this permission and tick this to allow it execute as program. And then over here, just make sure you put the same name that you rename, dot slash in front, and then you just enter it and it will take all your videos in this folder and it will move it to this transcoded folder and it will convert for you your videos but how long it is depends on your videos okay so once you're done just copy out my videos i put it in is very short so that's why it's fast so you just try it in again into this da vinci and you can try editing everything and see if it works all right so let's start with So I wouldn't personally use DaVinci right now in Linux unless they fix this problem but I don't know are you guys using DaVinci right now in Linux are you guys okay with these extra steps do you guys have a solution that you can comment below that I can use in my videos that I can help the community so comment below Please like, subscribe and comment below is my previous videos, to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist for different topics in different playlists. You can check that out for my previous and future videos that is to come. So thank you for watching, Famous Cyber Ramos, signing out.